Hey Tiffany, it's Tyler from Glover Dodge in Owasso. Here's a little video of the Buick that you wanted. Uh, um, actual in-depth video probably help you out a little bit better. I'll show you all around the exterior, uh, all corners. Help you out best I can. And then we'll hop on the inside. And you can see there's no dents. But I see on the body panels, everything looks clean. Really sharp car. Backup sensors in the rear as well. That's what the bottom looks like. Just all around it. Just as well. There it is. The lift paint. Looks fine. Paint is in really good condition. As you can see, it's dirty, but it's still reflecting off everything, so the paint is in awesome, awesome shape. I'll show you this body line as well. That's the That's what you want to see. And this side profile. And I'll show you all the wheels as well. Get up close here for you. Show you the bumper. Now, if you guys have any other questions, just feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than thrilled to help you guys out anyway. I'll show you the interior. We got remote start, which is cool, so not a bad little setup. It's the coupe, two-door, as you know. Power driver's seat and passenger. There is the condition of the leather. Just a little bit of scrape there. The major. It looks like the seat's folded. Back there. Seems to be in sharp condition. Driver's seat. Show you the roof. Back in the seat. That's important. The interior is in really good shape, looks like. I'm a little taller, I'm 6'3", so i got to scoot back a little bit. Show you. Turn it on for you. No check engine lights. Ours has been serviced top to bottom to make sure it's healthy. So oil change has been done. Everything like that has been done. Here. Is there anything on display? Looks like just a little bit of wear there on that button there. Steering wheel looks to be in really good shape. Doesn't appear to be anyone who's driving eating Frito Lays and stuff because sometimes these steering wheels they get beat to death, especially the old leather ones. They can usually look pretty worn, but this one looks to be in excellent condition. Dash is in really good shape, stitching's all still intact. Dash is in really good condition. Let me show you the passenger side or driver side, excuse me. go up in here and there is the driving position pretty clean little setup here now the only things that i could see up front that indicated anything at all because i want to be honest with you guys i'll just be transparent i just going to go across the country there's just a little remnants of some body work you can see very slight you have to look out for it because Obviously, you're not going to see it from here, but if you come up close, get all the way in it, in between the crease, you can just see there's a little bit of material there that they use to kind of make sure it stayed in place. 
It looks like it was done right, though, because it's not moving around. This thing's 100% secure. And then on this side, you can kind of see right there. Same thing. Have to look out for it. Can't even see it until you actually walk all the way up on it. And you get right there. Nothing major. I know you guys wanted to see underneath it. So, oh, I'll top on it. Nothing tore up. Everything looks to be in good condition. Decent, I guess you could say. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'll show you undercarriage on this side. Subframe looks good. Up there looks fine. Everything looks normal. Show you the back. <clears throat> Not all cut up and skidded up like most cases are. Everything looks good. Nothing looks messed up though. Everything looks nice and intact. Show you the other side. I want to give you guys the most I can, you know. Try to help out. So. Stuff there. Here. Looks good to me. <laughs> I know it's a little bit of a longer video, but I'd rather show you guys everything I can rather than cut it short. Just fine. All right. Again, it is Tyler Ramirez from Glover Dodge in Owasso, Oklahoma. If you need anything else that I can do to help you guys out, let me know. My number is 918-938-1315. Hopefully we can come to an agreement.